Hi guys, I am Jish and I've been kindly invited by Bike Shed to share with you my bikes and my builds for the road to the show, Bike Shed 2022. So these two bikes here, these are my prides and joy that I've been working tirelessly on over the last few years this Yamaha XJ650 and this Suzuki GS250. And I'm one of the lucky few to have my bikes accepted into the Bike Shed London 2022 show this year. Ooh. So I'm here to share with you the bikes, the passion in building them, and what it means to have them accepted into the Bike Shed London 2022 show. And some of you have may have seen this bike creeping in the background. Yes, this is my Honda CB125 Cafe Racer build. That was also in the Bike Shed 2018 show. And here's the little plaque I keep on my wall just to commemorate that achievement. But yeah, that was my first custom build. Now I've got two more. So first of all, this is my 1982 Yamaha XJ650. And the first thing you may notice is the twin headlights that I went for. Um, I wanted something a little bit different, a little bit kind of quirky and kind of retro styling. I absolutely love this look. I know it's not for everyone, but a lot of work went into making it with the, this custom 3D printed ergonomic style uh, headlight mount with integrated speedo. The whole front end is a Triumph Daytona 955i um, for that bit more of a, a chunky meaty look in the gold fork stanchions. And again, a really unusual tailpiece with this uh, laser cut acrylic towel light, this metal 3D printed exhaust tip and a host of other features like these custom made rear sets. And onto the 1981 Suzuki GS250, which I've not long finished in this gorgeous Arga blue. I've gone for a very aggressive scrambler style with these knobbly tires. I've kept the mag star wheels just because they look really badass. I've also taught myself how to TIG weld uh, and made myself this really custom exhaust here. Again, a really nice seat with semi-perth leather, so it's watertight, but has a nice little grip and kind of like look to it. A very functional grab rail, so I can pull it out the mud when I obviously bin it. And the fact I started with that bike in my living room to having this workshop where I can build these bikes now just shows how much I love doing this. So yeah, they are the bikes. I am super lucky and super humbled that I get to share these bikes with you in this year's show. And it means a lot to me because I'm all self-taught with all my buildings. I started my first build in my living room and I've worked my way up into being able to have a workshop like this where I can film and build these bikes. Um, it's a wonderful feeling. You don't need all the fancy tools. You do not need the know-how. You've just got to have the determination to give it a go. If it doesn't go right, you start again and have a go again. And that's what I love about bike build culture is because everyone is willing to have a go. Everyone is super friendly and we all connect together and we all help each other out in little ways, whether it be making things or just having a little bit of information or knowledge. It's, it all comes collectively and together and we all share it and to build these wonderful bikes. The Bike Shed London 2022 show is a super special one to me because there's just no other show like it. The feeling, the vibe, the late nights running up to the show, getting the bikes ready is always super special and almost like a spiritual journey. Even in the 2019 show, I broke my foot the day before and I still came hobbling on crutches and I interviewed some of the builders. It was, uh, it was fun. So this year is no exception. I've got a whole heap to do to get these bikes ready for the show, but that's what it's all about. So I hope you like the bikes. I hope you're excited for the show as much as I am. Um, and I hope to catch you there. So once again, thank you for Bike Shed for having me on this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at the show. Peace.